I need to build and one of the processes that I'm supposed to take is actually to draw up a plan. With me today is Archford Druja who is going to be answering some of the burning questions you may have if you need to draw up a plan. Can you please tell us a little bit about yourself, your background in, uh, in architecture? Okay, my name is Archford Druja and I've uh, studied architectural designing with uh, Repoli. Uh, I've been in the industry for about four years now. So when you talk of architecture, can you please tell us what is it that you guys do and what are you involved in? Okay, we do plans, we draw plans. They're in two phases. There's commercial and uh, residential plans. Residential plans, we are dealing with main houses, cottages and boundary walls or jura walls. And then in commercial, there's hospitals, there's uh, supermarkets, uh, anything to do with commercial things, with design. Can you tell me about the council or the authority that approves the plan that is actually ready to be built? Uh, what, what are the steps taken? Can you explain on that? Okay, we produce four copies and then we submit them to council. And then after approval, council left with two copies and the client get two copies. Okay, who does the submission? Is it you or the client does it themselves? The client does it themselves. So can you please tell us a little bit about the pricing aspect of approving the plan and which board is responsible for, for that and how much do you guys charge to actually draw the plan? Okay, uh, for, for approval fees, the council is in charge with that. And on our, on our side, we used to say dollar per square meter of the produce plan, but now uh, we are now using our discretion on the magnitude of the work. That's how we charge. It's, how long does it take to get your plan approved at the council and how long do you guys take to produce a plan as well given that everything has been set and yeah. Okay, uh, from the council side it's now two weeks and on my side it's only three days. Oh, okay. Yes. So now talk about um, custom made uh, plans. Mm -hmm. Do you guys just use some templates or you just use a client has to come up with the idea of what they want. Do they come up with a sketch or what do they do? Or they call you on the phone? Yeah. I only need specifications from the client. Yes. I work with the specifications from the client. And then on my side, I then do the designing part using the specifications from the client. Is there any question that maybe you feel I did not ask you and you feel like sharing, sharing with the people that are actually listening? Okay. Uh... Let's say you want to change your plan. Your plan has been approved. Now you want some changes. You need to resubmit that plan with the changes. Okay. Yes. And the other thing, maybe you lost your, 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 your old plans and you want to build. They have been approved. Now you want to build and then you lost your plans. What you can simply do, you can go to council and retrieve the plan from council. Because when your plan is, has been approved, they left with two copies and they give you two copies. So you can go to council and retrieve your plan. And then okay. you start construction. Yes. Are you able to estimate the materials and the money that I'm supposed to st spend for the house or I need someone else to do that for me? Yes, as architects, as architects, we can provide you with the bill of quantities. That is the BOQ. We can separate it in two halves. That is from the foundation up to the box level or to the slab level and then from the slab level up to the wall plate and then to the roof level. In case I did not ask you some of the questions that our listeners may have, how can they get in touch with you if they want to ask more questions? They can contact us on plus 263-778-809-172. Okay. So I'd love to thank you so much Mr. Ruja for uh, your time to share your expertise in the architecture. You can watch more videos on zimvideos.com that is Z-I-M-V-D-Y-O-Z dot com.